Welcome back my lovely animals. It's been a while since I did a commentary random replay. It's been a while since I could hold my head up high. And this time we're gonna have a pleasure of watching what's the matter with your nickname? It's one 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 three three seven WOT noob. Now, I can't be bothered by pronouncing that every time, so I'm just gonna call him Carl. Like, uh, you know, from uh, The Walking Dead, the little guy, the Carlo guy. No, it's not Carlo, it's Carl. Sorry, Carlo. And our buddy here is playing in the Panzer 58 Mutz. Mutz is such a lovely word. We, we, call, we call our cats Mutz. And... It's very strange. We call him like much, 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 much. Anyways, um, our buddy Carl over here is playing on Sand River. He's playing the Steer 8 German premium tank, which is okay. It it gets nice credits and everything. Uh, I'm not gonna go down into details because there are so many of so many different videos and guides of this tank. So we're just gonna focus on his game. Now he went straight to the K line and he's sitting on top of the sand dune. He can spot the enemies coming from the right and he can give some shots into the middle where the OI is, right over there. Now so far nothing has been spotted. Uh, the matchmaking has been very gracious towards him, only one artillery and he's top tier. And there we go, our first spotted tank, the KV-85. Now. Carl over here is gonna punch a couple of holes through these buildings to my, so he might get a shot into the KV-85, but uh, he quickly gave up. The T-34 is gonna go and maybe spot something for him. He's kind of sitting like a, like a little, like a little camper here, and now it's going to start. There's the T-28, that's the reward tank, and how the fuck did he manage to pen that that tank is very armored at the front you get it through the missions if you play the missions remember the missions are out there for quite some time now now here's the aids i mean the udes uh it's a shitty tier 8 uh, swedish tank destroyer which can go into siege mode and once you get spotted like that in the open you're dead within seconds so it's kind of aids if you get spotted, otherwise it's a... The Udis is a bushwanking tank. It's designed for those who love to sit in bushes and masturbate in them. So if you like to do that, get the Udis. Otherwise, don't get it. And our buddy Carl, well, he got two shots in and he quickly realized that he has to go back. Why? Because Carl is not an idiot. Carl uses the minimap. In case you were wondering, you can bring up the minimap by pressing the M key. Hashtag tank better. Alright. Now, Carl over here has a decent position to shoot these guys uh, coming from the left into their base. There's the T-54 Mod 1. It's also a pretty shitty tank if, because you can get into tier 10 and you get chewed up by tier 9s and tier 10s. Uh, now, our buddy Carl missed and missed and missed. Now please show us how it's done. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. You see, you track him, you do damage. Easy game, easy life. Now the Sturer Emil is pinging onto Carl, tell me he, telling him he's a total useless and some stars. I don't know why it got filtered. I wish it hadn't. And yeah, he's pretty mad because he was in the base and he got farmed from two sides and our buddy Carl is still alive still on full HP and the KV-3 did a terrible mistake by going way out in the open and there we go Carl just got hit for the first time now he's gonna wake up and say holy shit I have to play there's the T-54 mod 1 I don't know what he was thinking that was a bad uh, bad decision to go out like that one more shot into him and he's dead yep he's finished which puts us to 5 versus, I mean the score is 
So, yeah, six guys versus ten. Things aren't looking pretty good for our buddy over here, Carl. And the rest of his team, I mean, half of the guys, three guys, are fighting on the lower east corners. Uh, pardon me, two guys. And pardon me, one guy. So this makes it four versus ten. Now our buddy Carl over here, he can use this gun depression of the Moots and put it to, to his advantage. Now he needs to finish off this KV-3 because he's getting shot from the middle. There are a couple of medium tanks in the middle so he needs to deal with this guy fast. As you can see the Comet is already shooting this way. And a tier 6 Swedish tank destroyer. He bounced him twice already. He's somewhere over there in the middle. So our buddy Carl needs to pick up the kills and even the scores a little bit. He managed to get a lucky shot. I mean, not lucky. It was a good shot into the T-34-85. And this KV-3 is driving like a complete moron out in the open. And, well, yeah, he died. He's probably already writing uh, a new thread on the forums. Why is my heavy tank not bouncing shots? I'm a heavy tank. I'm supposed to have armor. I can drive in the open through the middle, <laughs> and that's not how it works. Now Carl already Carl managed to pick the challenger, and this puts him into a two versus what three, five, six, seven. It's a two versus seven, and his buddy Tiger one. Well, he's a one shot, and I don't have a lot of hope into this in this Tiger. I'm pretty sure he's gonna die like a complete moron by that Scorpion G. At least he managed to get one shot into the Scorpion, which is nice, you know. And the enemy is getting closer and closer to Carl. Now, Carl's hands are probably sweaty now. His knees are weak. His knee knees are weak. Mom spaghetti. And let's see what Carl can do. He has 900 HP left and he has to kill well he just has to kill seven guys and it's a victory for him easy peasy lemon squeezy there's the first guy coming in like a complete bob he couldn't he didn't have enough gun depression and he died shame on you t-34 he's getting shot in the ass by the tier 6 swedish tank destroyer there's the comet he needs to die in this shot nice shot and the scorpion g is also how do you bounce a Mutz, which is like a paper tank? How do you bounce it with a Scorpion G? It doesn't matter. Uh, Carl went into his initial position, so he can get shot by the tier 6 uh, TD. And he managed to pick the Scorpion G up. Now he's on 179 hit, hit points. And he still needs to deal with the oh ho ho ho. And the Slova and an RT and a tier 6 tank destroyer. Now, my guess is the Lova is probably right in front of his face. He's gonna pop up soon. Now, our buddy Carl made the right decision and load APCR for this bad boy. Because he, he, he just can't afford to get shot right now. Because any one of these tanks that shoot him right now are just gonna kill him. So he needs to, he needs to be careful right now. Now he managed to kill the Lover, and he still has three tanks to kill. Yep, the RT missed, so he has time. He needs to deal with the with the little, I don't even know how to pronounce that, the, the Swedish tank destroyer. He needs to deal with that guy, then he needs to kill the Oho, then the RT. That's what I would do. Always, you need to pick the closest targets and then the, the slowest one and then RT, I guess. Now, that tier 6 guy was shooting him all the time through the middle. So he needs to get down there or up there in the middle somehow. And he's gonna do that by going through here, through the base and all around. Because if he went through the middle like a complete bob, you know, remember that KV-3? He would just get sniped by the, by the TD. So he made the right decision by going here, going on the left, because he still has time, you know, five minutes. 
And yeah, now we can talk about New Year and Christmas. What did you get for Christmas? Tell me. And how did you celebrate New Year's? Was it in strongholds or in randoms? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Just tell me in the comments. And there he is. There's he, is. Right. he just needs to kill this guy. 580 hit points. He's still full HP, which is kind of bad. He's, he can one-shot him. And our buddy Carl... Well, he shouldn't have missed this first shot. That that would... That almost fucked him. But he managed to get a lovely shot under the gun of this dead uh, uh, SU-100. Now, he needs to deal with this guy fast, because as you just saw, the arty is still alive, he can still kill him, he's a one-shot. This little guy doesn't really know how to handle Carl, so I guess Carl is gonna try and do the same trick again. Yep. That was a nice shot. That was actually a nice shot, he, he handled that guy pretty, pretty well. Now, two enemies remaining. An arty... And uh, oh, ho. oh ho ho, oh ho ho, the oh ho is like a, if Santa was driving a tank, it would definitely be the oh ho, I don't know, it's because of the, the name and because it's very big, you can get a lot of presents, you could stuff a lot of presents in an oh ho, and while he was driving and he would, he could easily shout oh, 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 Anyways, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what to talk about while he's driving here in the middle, trying to get the Oho. Uh, the Oho is either AFK or he's brain dead. No other possibilities. Yeah, he's AFK. Now this right here, this is what you just see. An AFK, this is like everybody's wet dream that you can farm an AFK guy. That's like the best feeling ever, isn't it? <coughs> When you see like a full HP guy in the cap circle after fighting for minutes and minutes and then you see one guy full HP in the cap circle being AFK, that's like the best thing and you just farm the shit out of him. I don't know, I like that. I really love that. Doesn't happen a lot but I like that. Now our buddy here Carl only has 3 shells remaining, 3 HE shells. He has to put them to good use and another tip Carlo, you're driving a T-Rate premium tank for fuck's sake use an automatic fire extinguisher, don't be that, don't be so stingy man, come on, next time you get set on fire so it gets put out automatically, it's only 20k and you're driving a premium tank, hello, I'm just saying, now the M12 spotted him, he needs to deal with this guy very carefully, and he only has two shots, so he needs to get them right. Um, two minutes left, and yeah. Now, what you see, he made the right decision. He didn't go straight into the RT because he would just get shot on. He did, he went all the way around, surprise him like this, boom with the HE, now he's one shot, and he needs to kill him. You need to change directions when you're confronting an artillery if, if, if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation like this because they can easily shotgun you. Just look at uh, our buddy Carl over here. He could have easily been killed but he didn't. Let's check the stats! Check how our buddy Carl did. He got a 110k of credits and almost 10k of experience because it was a times 5 for the first win in a day with this tank which is very nice very nice for grinding that crew that german crew he got an ace tanker of course he got a call of Banos medal because he managed to win a one versus seven he managed to win a one versus seven which is awesome he also got a fadens because he killed the last enemy with his last shell a pulse medal for killing 10 guys a steel wall, which is very weird in a tank like that. High caliber and a top gun. Now, let's check the next tab. He did 6.5k of damage, 10 kills. Base experience of almost 2000, which is very, very, very impressive. And if you check his team, just look at, look at the Sturer Emil and the rest of the guys. I mean, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys did absolutely nothing. They did nothing. 
The enemy team has damage distributed a little bit better, but they still... I don't know, they... Seven of them died against one. What's there to say? I don't know. And a very good replay from Carl. Thank you again for sending this. And he managed to get 51k of credits in the end without a premium account. And if he ran the premium account, he would get 106k profit. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter.